five things narcissists do when you are sick. When you are sick, it shows you who is really there for you. It shows you who is really with you. The well-known Christian wedding vows includes a promise to have and to hold in sickness and in health which means that you agree to stay together and support each other whether one of you is healthy or ill but if you're dealing with a narcissist you probably already know that they're not going to be there for you when you're sick but that doesn't always mean they're going to leave you because they know that would make them look bad but they're not going to take care of you they're not going to give you the support that you need they will be out doing their own thing they will be enjoying their own lives while you're stuck trying to improve things for yourself on your own Which is why when you're with a narcissist You are taking a very big risk You are putting your life in danger Because they're not going to be there for you when you need them Instead, they're going to do these five things One they will act like they're sicker than you. This is something that almost every narcissist will do if you are sick. If you're not feeling well or something has gone wrong for you, you may want someone to help you. You may not need it, but it's healthy to have someone who is there for you. But if you are with a narcissist, it doesn't matter how ill you are because they will still expect you to take care of them. They will act like they are affected by an illness as though they're not well or healthy as though something has gone wrong for them and they will do this every time you are sick or experiencing misfortune 2. they will make you feel bad they will say that you're weak they will say that other people are stronger than you they will make you feel inadequate as though you're insufficient for a purpose as though you're unable to deal with this situation or with life when you may have been taking care of them the entire time and they may have been the cause of why things went bad for you but they will still kick you when you're down they will behave unfairly and attack you even after you have already suffered a setback even when you're already in a vulnerable position they will say it's your fault they will blame you for everything three they will ignore you if it doesn't fit in with their activities or interests they will just ignore it they will ignore you when you're sick they will act like you're not even there even if you're struggling to do things for yourself even if you can no longer take care of yourself you may be suffering from a physical injury but they won't pay any attention to it they won't think of it as strange or important because they're very selfish they only care about themselves So while you're suffering, 
they will be more preoccupied with what they want to eat or what they plan on doing that day and they will just leave you to deal with it on your own they won't care about what you're going to do or what you're going to eat as long as they get what they want because they lack empathy they lack the ability to share your feelings and experiences which is why they're often unable to see things from your point of view. It's why they display a complete lack of feeling and consideration. They're only thinking about themselves. They don't even think that they should have to think about you. Four, they will act like you're a nuisance. They will act like your sickness is causing them inconvenience and annoyance, as though it's a problem for them, which should reveal to you that something is wrong with this relationship, and that something is wrong with them and how they think about you. Because they're supposed to be the closest person to you. So they shouldn't be thinking that way about you. But this is how they think. Five. They will disappear. If you get sick a lot of times they will just disappear. Because they can't be bothered to deal with it. And they might believe that it has nothing to do with them. So they will just leave you to deal with it on your own. But they may come back when you recover. So that they don't have to deal with your problems. Because then you will have more time, energy or money to give to them again. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you could donate at paypal.me slash You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.